Hey guys, what's going on? As you can tell, the palm tree right here. Um, I'm down here in Florida, so before we get going, I wanted to show you this load, and we're losing the light. It's like four o'clock in the afternoon. So before we lose the light, I wanted to show it to you before I get it unloaded tonight, because I'm gonna be down here in the dark, and you're not gonna be able to see it. And I only got to show you a little bit of it yesterday, earlier in the vlog. Um, which you will see in a second here. Um, but I'm gonna show you this in the daylight so you guys see what's going on and I can explain why I did what I did. And if you guys have any tips, go ahead and correct me. All right guys, what's going on? I'm gonna try to show you as much of this load as I can before it gets dark. As you can tell, the sun is right there starting to go down. So I'm gonna try to show you as much of this as possible. But just so you can tell, Right here, I'm doing an 11 car load today. So there's the first car backed on, raised all the way up. Uh, I gotta pin it in one second here. Ray, drop these down, and I'm gonna flip these ramps on this deck, slide that back so I can back this one in, raise it up, drive it in, this one pull on, so I can drop it down. Um, but I'll show you guys all this as I go, as long as I still have the sun so you guys can see. So I'm gonna try to do this quickly. See you guys in a minute. All right, so as you can see, I'm just back the second one on here. Um, you guys can correct me if I'm doing it wrong because I haven't done a whole ton of these and I don't remember, it's been a little while, if I back this one in or I pull this one in. But either way, I'm gonna throw the straps on, throw the next one on and keep going. But just showing you guys what it looks like as I go. That one's all the way up in the air and pinned. And I'm going to start getting these in and raising them up. All right, well, there's still a little bit of light left. I'm going to show you guys what I have on so far. Um, put that one on up top. Wow, this camera makes the light a lot brighter than it really is here. But put that one on, raised it up. You can see we've got it pinned down here and back here. And this is why you got to raise this one up all the way. Is because in order to get the car down here, you actually have to be pretty close. That looks a lot closer than it is. It's probably about three, four inches separation there. But you can see back that one in, drive it in, well, back it in and then drive the deck right up the back bumper right towards the back of the cab here. And that one, you got to raise it up so you can get your other car in through here down into our pockets. So. I'm going to keep going here and I'll show you guys more as we go. Alright, so as you guys can see, they got good lights here at Mannheim, which is not something you see all the time, but let's go look. Right here you can see you got the fork, three across the top of the head rack here. This one right here I learned from before when I tried this. Drop your uh, deck all the way down to the final hole and drop your... Uh, pockets over here so that way you get this car nice and low to get these low enough to get out but I had three across the top and I'll show you on the back here let me get back here because uh, the lights not that great but I put this in the wheel pockets here normally I don't have to especially going rogue over rogue but because we're doing seven on the trailer I just want to make sure I'm going to be able to get this Rogue low enough over the other one. So I just went ahead and dropped them just to be on the safe side so I don't have to deal with it afterwards. But I'll see you guys in a minute. We're going to load seven across the bottom and get out of here. See ya. This is the load, guys. Did another 11 car load. Um, as you can tell, we got the four on the head rack then seven on the trailer so and I want to show you real quick on the head rack last time I did an 11 car load I showed you guys I had an Ultima here actually I did an 11 Ultima load but this one was pulled in I backed this one in out of this entire load here this is my tallest car at 13.5 um, but and, and what it is is right there at the tip of the hood that's my highest point on this entire load. But I want to show you. Uh, first things first, this one, you're going to have to raise up. As you see here, I got it raised up from the bottom. Normally I'm in, I think, hole five 
down here, but you're gonna back this one in. I don't I didn't go all the way onto the end of the ramp because I don't need to. I tried to get it at the very top, right at the very tip of that ramp. But as you can tell, I got my space between my cab right here, so I got nothing to worry about. This one down here underneath, as you see, I got it dropped all the way down. And then down into the pockets over here, we're just barely off the deck itself. But that's strapped down and fine. And then this one, pull on. I'm pretty far in. Last time I stayed right out to the very edge. This time I actually pulled pretty far in. And now that um, I did it this way, that does make it a lot easier than being right at the very edge of your decking. Because you can tell by the windshield, this deck, this deck here, is gonna be pretty close to the windshield of that car. But one big thing if you guys ever want to do 11 car loads like this is remember to pin. Remember to pin your decks because you have so much of your weight sitting way behind the pivot point of this or the uh, balancing point of these two decks. This deck will rise just like this one. You can see this one has risen and if I didn't have it pinned it would have come up off of uh, off of this ram and right down onto the hood of the car up there. And then back here, obviously, it's the same as always, the normal seven car load. Uh, the big thing to watch here is going to be your deck here and this car. Because see, if you load this whole load as a normal uh, 10 car load, which is either stacking down here, and then this car is just way up and in and out of the way, you got nothing to worry about. Or, if you put four on the head rack and your normal six down here, this car is flat, nice and low, so you have tons of space right here. You got nothing to worry about. When you do an 11 car load, the big thing you gotta watch for was when you're making your turns in and out of parking lots, this deck is gonna come down towards the roof of this car. And if you're too close, right here or right here can catch right onto your car so that's something to watch for when you're doing this is make sure you're gonna have plenty of space here between these two cars isn't as big of a deal because this car is gonna swing way out as that one goes in um, but you're, you're not going to I'm not go in they're both gonna swing out but this one swings out I guess like a bigger swing itself over this one um but as you can tell it's just it's not a bad low this one actually first first shot i was down to height and you can see i don't have uh there's not one on that one i don't have these pinned here um because if you look at my pivot point between the two i pivot back here and i pivot right here my tires are in the middle meaning that deck's balanced this one, I'm actually ahead of this pivot, but not by much where I really had anything to worry about, but I did pin this back one just in case. Um, it takes one second to not damage it, so might as well just throw it on just in case and then not have to worry about it. But I will say, let me turn this around, see if you guys can see, oh, that sun's really bright. Hang on, let me go this way. All right, so I will say, um, this, there's a good chance that this right here will probably be my last 10 car load because when I get done, I'm returning this truck. And, uh, and I will officially be out of this truck and not doing this anymore. So um, guys, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. And uh, if I have any light when I'm unloading, I'll try to get a little footage for you guys so you guys can see that. But for the most part, it's just, like I said, it's just your normal. Um, this, this deck here, you're going to flip all four of your floppers and park on them because it's a short deck. And then uh, your normal park on this deck here, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. The biggest thing is that you're put, backing this car in under that one, over this one, over that one. That's, that's the biggest change with doing uh, 10 car load this way 
and then you obviously you guys have seen it a few times the normal 10 car back this one in back this one in back this one on then load your three across the top and on the bottom nothing to worry about um, but yeah as you guys can see I just pulled this one in real quick so I can show you guys but it's just your normal normal what would be a 10 car load or a 10 car load but when you get both you get a nice 11 car load and these are a bunch of elantras and opt i think i got three optimas a bunch of elantras uh kia forte two rogues so not not that bad of a load but like i said guys this is probably going to be my last time you see me in this truck so guys please subscribe to the channel we got new things to come and watch the next vlog to see what's coming your way but guys thank you very much catch you in a bit